Peyton. Peyton, who's filling in for Suzette, you said you wanted to choke your boyfriend. Yeah. He made me so mad yesterday, like, to the point where I literally got hot because I was so, like, boiled and, like, red and so angry at him because he just kept messing with me and, like, being annoying on purpose, and I already didn't really feel good. I was cramping, like, there was a lot going on. I was tired. It was, like, cold outside. Like, all the elements were just not lining up for me, and he was purposely trying to annoy me. Wait, so what if you weren't cramp? So what you're saying by cramping that? Yes, it was Mother Nature right. was paying me a visit. So if that wasn't happening, is this his normal behavior? But because that's happening... Yes, I like, I literally lost it. Like, I don't think I've lost it like that in a really long time. But I literally like turned around the parking lot and I was like, Stop touching me! I was so mad. And my mom was right there. And I was like, Mom, we're... Because we went to the Mercury game last night. And I was like, I'm not sitting next to him. We're leaving him here. Like, I was so mad. Wow. And so did you later like come to your senses and apologize or well, did he apologize? Like, where are no, you? No, he didn't apologize. Did he laugh? Yes. So we got back home from the game. I didn't talk to him after the game. Like, I was so still so mad. We didn't even sit next to each other during the Mercury game. That's how mad I was at him. <laughs> and, and so... I get back home. I'm like sitting there. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go to bed. He was like, all right, Brad, love you. Good night. And I was like, all right, good night. We're oh, good. Is, <laughs> is that not the first time he's seen you blow up at him like that? Oh, I mean, I've blown up at him for like other stuff, but this is the first time that like he really was like, you. I was like, you are so annoying. Like you need to get out of my face. <laughs> and I'm not like that because I'm really obsessed with my boyfriend. I think he's like the best person in the world. <laughs> But man, oh man, was I irritated by I'm him. surprised he didn't get scared. I really am. <laughs> that he just kind of laughed it off. That's pretty cool. I mean, what are you guys, four <laughs> months of living together now? Yeah, about. Four months. Okay, and also, we cannot ignore the fact that this happens to all of us that just start this schedule. Yes. <laughs> oh, no yes. Of no waking up early. Oh, they were out late at night. We said this was going to happen. Yes. We prepped her. <laughs> you did. So you've got, and, and you've got your friend visiting, I mean, monthly. Yes. Uh, so that, right. all so that So I think will... that's what, like, <laughs> made my emotions, like, that much more heightened. Oh, it was like but... the perfect storm <laughs> of emotions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's literally what it was. And my mom, as we're, like, as she was dropping us off, she was like, I suggest you leave your attitude in the car. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you're like, oh no, you're gonna get my attitude. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair, I really wasn't that nice to her either because I was just mad all day. Oh, and she was a trooper. She really stuck with it because she knew how I was feeling. But I was like, girl, I was so ready to leave him at this basketball game. You guys. I mean, your mom, your mom even was like on his side. Yeah, yeah. She was like, you need to chill out. And it's funny, you sleep a few hours and you wake up the next morning like, I might have taken that a little too far. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've all been there. Yeah. In fact, there was at one point where John Jay and I and our boss, we used to talk every night about the next day's show. And then at some point we realized that after a certain point in the night, your brain's just not working and things just go in circles. Yeah. Uh, we just all talk tomorrow. Yeah, but that's a small part of it. I think the rest of it is all the other stuff, you know, you know what I mean? Relationship. Yeah. And being together 24 hours a day. And totally. then, of course, your Aunt Flo visiting. Yes. You know? Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I think I was a little scared of myself personally, <laughs> but I think we're going to be okay. Today will be a all better right, day. I'm um, rich. Good. Big stuff going on your house, homecoming at your house. Yeah, my daughter Audrey is a sophomore this year, and nobody's loved high school and the whole high school experience as much as my kid Audrey because she's watched Can't Buy Me Love. She's watched She's All That. She's watched uh, The Breakfast Club a million times. So anything high school, she's all over. She's on the student council. And last year, there was no homecoming. So she was a freshman on her computer in her room, like, you know, waiting for it so this year she was in charge of decorating the hallways and and getting uh the whole dance together and hiring a dj so that is this saturday you got your your high school homecoming football game friday night and then the dance saturday and i mean there's been shopping there's been talking about you know what kind of dances they're going to do for tiktok there's been it, it is so exciting it is non-stop homecoming over there i'm excited for them Wow. They, they didn't have it last year. Is she going yeah. with, a, with a guy? Is your son going? He, my son's going with her, and they are taking friends. Oh, that's fine. I don't know how connected the friends are, like if there's crushes going on or not. Mm. That's kind of fun to go in a big group, though, because so. then it's less pressure, there's yeah. less stress, it's yeah. just more fun. That's what and, I always and did. Joe wouldn't go unless Audrey made him. She's like a social bee, and Joe's mm. like, 
chill with whatever is happening. So, Joe, you're coming with me to homecoming. We're going to bring friends. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Has Audrey gone dress shopping yet? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. She's taking Joe she shopping oh, good. for his clothes. <laughs> That's so fun. He's like, you're not going to embarrass me Are at this dance. <laughs> wearing your... I don't think they're going to match. No, but I think they'll look... That look cool. The theme is kind of weird. It's the nightmare before Christmas. That's uh, fun. Because it's right around Halloween, so yeah, that's I think kind that, of a good time. That was well, they wanted to do horror movies, and I guess you can't, you know, because there's there's you know freshmen, they can't do like hostile like they wanted to. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so they had, to, they had to take it down a few notches in the horror genre. <laughs> My son Dutch is 15, so he's a freshman. And he is on student government, and he's also working on homecoming. He's very excited about homecoming. My oldest son, Jake, no part of that. Didn't go to one dance. My middle son, Kemp, so far, no part of anything. Hasn't gone to anything. Dutch, student government, working on the floats. Yeah. That's the, cool. the, uh He's going. They get to spend the night at the gym, the, the night of the of the what? game. Oh, yeah. wow. Everyone, they're doing a lock-in? Yeah. Wow. They're doing that, and they're doing something big like that. Nobody knows the theme of the prom. Oh, yeah. I wasn't allowed to know until this week. It's a big secret. We don't know. Our parents don't know. Nobody knows. But it's like two days before Halloween. I'm assuming it's got to be Halloween theme. Maybe the theme that you just said is universal. Because that makes sense. Like a masquerade or something. something. I mean, it's like the two days before Halloween. Why would it not be Halloween related? You know what I mean? In my opinion, but I have no idea. But I don't know. I didn't even know that high schoolers are still going to like homecoming dances. Because I never went to a homecoming dance. You didn't? No, we did party buses all four years. To where? Um, I don't know. We just drive around town at the same time of Halloween. Uh-huh. I mean, the same at time. The same time, of, time of, yeah. So there would be a, a homecoming, mm-hmm. and you would get your friends to get a party bus, yeah. but never go to the dance. Yeah, and I think we went to prom like my senior year. We went to prom and stopped for like ten minutes. I feel like that would have hurt me because I was <laughs> president of the student council. Yeah, <laughs> and knowing how hard you work on planning, you're like, why wouldn't you guys want to go? Like I would say to Jake, like, what are you doing? Do you know how hard we're working on this? Do you know how amazing it's going to be? Do you know what experience you're missing out? on and if you don't go so if you're listening just go yeah. totally go. for me it was all those things that you talked about we went but it was just our senior year i never went to 10th grade 11th grade oh, you didn't? it was okay. just 12 I, th- I thought it was just senior year so i never participated in anything but, but i also moved around a lot so i didn't know you know yeah, yeah so um it's weird having this kid dutch who's all involved that's really cool though and a lot of fun student council is really dope I mean, it's also like about time because like that's exactly how your wife is. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. One of them's got to take after her. <laughs> we went to dinner last night at this restaurant, which is about a quarter of a mile, not a quarter of a mile, it's up, down the street from the high school. And we're eating dinner and he was finished his food and he was like, can I go to the football game? What football game? It was high school football. And he just took off. It's, he just ran down the street to go to the football game. Yeah, I think like Wednesday night to the freshman game. Yeah, and yeah. So Coke, they get in free. So we went. <laughs> so we went. I went to go pick him up, and he's like, "Why do I have to go? I'll, I'll just." I'm like, "Dude, it's eight thirty. I got to go to bed." He's like, "Well, I'll come home later." Uh, so Kemp went to go to go get him, and then Kemp comes back in and goes, "That kid." And I go, "What?" He goes, "He just wants to stay. He's gonna stay. He'll come home later." I'm like, All right. I go. So where was he? With a whole bunch of people out in the bed. With like whatever, right? And then I go. So his friend is quarterback. And I go. I go. So what's the deal? So Dutch and so and so are they hanging out now? Is Dutch hanging out with all the popular people? And Kemp goes, he is the popular guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. I can see that. That is very Dutch. <laughs> and a totally different personality than the other two. You know what I mean? It's so bizarre. Anyway, so happy home.